Have you ever had your internet go down for an entire day? It's frustrating and stressful, especially when you're trying to get work done. It's a given that most businesses can't function without the internet, so it's important to have a backup plan, or in this case, a backup WAN. RV160 and RV260 series routers allow you to have an internet connection either via Ethernet Wide Area Network, WAN port, or by a mobile broadband connection via a universal serial bus, USB port. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure WAN failover on RV160 and RV260 series routers using a mobile broadband connection. First things first, make sure your regular WAN connection is established and has an IP address. To do this, log into your router and navigate to Status and Statistics, and then System Summary. Under the Port Status section, on the right side, look at the Internet column. Here, you can see a WAN is connected. Under Status and Statistics on the Navigation pane, click on the Mobile Network menu. You can see that on my network, there's nothing connected here yet. To get the mobile network section configured, go to WAN in the navigation pane and then select mobile network. Select the service type based on your service provider plan. It can be set to either auto or manual. Your service provider will need to give you the information needed to fill out the rest of these fields. The mobile connection can be set to connect on demand in order to save costs and bandwidth. When both the WAN and mobile connections are up and running, you can configure the primary and backup by navigating to WAN and then multi-WAN. Here is where you choose the appropriate precedence for failover. After clicking the advanced configuration option, you can enable or disable network service detection to allow the device to detect network connectivity. This is done by pinging specified devices to perform this, you simply enter the destination IP address to be pinged, the retry count, and the retry timeout fields. That's it. You've now configured WAN failover on your RV160 or RV260 series router using a mobile broadband connection. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.